Hi everyone, my name is Santiago and I'm presenting our work with Professor Ricardo San Felice at the University of California, Santa Cruz in optimality and stability in two-player zero-sum hybrid games. Interesting scenarios occur when adversarial agents may be designed to cause as much harm as possible in a specific system or process. This problem has been addressed using game theoretical tools and differential games pertain to the case in which dynamic constraints are given in terms of differential equations. In the picture, you can see a set of rockets that have been designed to target a specific location and a set of drones aiming to intercept them before they land. By denoting the drone's position by x1, its action by u1, the rocket's position by x2, and its action by u2, we can model this problem as an optimization problem with dynamic constraints. The challenge from the drone's perspective is that the rocket's strategy is unknown. So we can model this as a minimization problem by the action of the drone, and uh, it intends to minimize a cost j subject to the dynamics of each of the systems. But to model what is the strategy that the rocket can play, we will come turn this into a mean max problem and this is what we'll focus on consider the case in which the players might exhibit both continuous and discrete behaviors for this type of cases the current literature um, is not capable to uh, work to design strategies that allow the vader to successfully uh, achieve its goal this is why it is required to employ new modeling tools as hybrid models to design the strategy for each of the players. In this type of modeling and using the framework by Gobble, San Felice, and Till, trajectories can evolve in a continuous way when the state is found in a set C. They, they evolve in a discrete way when the state is found in a, a state in a set D. And when these two sets overlap, the trajectories evolve hybridly. We are interested in the case in which there are inputs that are affecting the evolution of uh, the trajectory. A hybrid system with a state X is given then by a hybrid equation that is composed by a differential equation and a difference equation. The differential equation is defined in terms of a flow map F when the state is found in the flow set C. The difference equation is defined in terms of a jump map G when the state is in the jump set D. The solutions are parameterized by the per T comma J where T is the ordinary time and J is the number of jumps that have occurred. The domain of solution is of the form of pairs, the union of pairs of intervals of continuous time with discrete elements where the greatest element of the intervals is the jump times. In this way, the solutions are defined in this hybrid time domain. We're interested in the case in which the hybrid equations are defined in terms of an input. This input is hybrid as well, and the differential equation will depend on the continuous element of the input you see while the difference equation uh, depends on the discrete input UD. When this input is assigned by a feedback law, we have the resulting um, closed loop system in which uh, the flow map and the flow set and the jump set will be defined in terms of the state space. This type of modeling are convenient to model um, systems like switched systems, impulsive systems, differential algebraic equations, and hybrid automata. For, to the best of our knowledge, uh, there doesn't exist any work that models hybrid games in terms of dynamic constraints model with the approach that we just presented. Let's focus in the problem of the game, a two-player game that is uh, composed by two players, player P1 that selects uh, select, um, action with sub-index <coughs> one and player P2 that selects the action with sub-index two, each one of them with a continuous and discrete element. Consider a cosfunctional J that is associated to the solution of the hybrid system from a given initial condition. 
In this case, we study the problem in which P1 wants to minimize the cost functional while player P2 wants to maximize it. And we want to solve it as a two player series some hybrid game. There are many applications, including a robust control problem in which we're interested in finding the control input that upper bounds the cost of solutions to the hybrid system for a given disturbance. Another application will be a security problem in which we want to ensure that the control input renders the system to minimize a cost under an attack that has been designed to harm the system as much as possible. In general, we will present a, present a framework um, to model hybrid games. We will present a result with sufficient conditions to obtain saddle point equilibrium and evaluate the value function. And there is another result in which uh, we present connections between optimality and asymptotic stability and application in robust and security scenarios. Following the work by Bashar, um, we present a formulation of the game in which each of the players has its own dynamics, its own state, its own hybrid input, and its own set of hybrid inputs denoted by the subindex corresponding to each of the players. But the elements of the game will include the joint state, the set of joint input actions, and each of the input is selected independently from the input of the other players. We have the joint dynamics in which the flow set is the product of the independent flow sets, the, the joint flow map F, and whenever any of the players triggers a jump, the whole the joint system will trigger a jump. And this is encoded by the design of the jump map D and the jump, the jump set D and the jump map G. We also include the strategy space of the game K, that is a collection of mappings kappa and the cost associated to each player that for this specific work will be a single cost with opposite, oppo opposite objectives for each of the player. Consider um, the solution of this type of games in terms of a saddle point equilibrium. And in a specific, we say that a strategy kappa or a feedback log kappa is a saddle point equilibrium if for every initial condition, every input action that is defined in terms of such a feedback log kappa satisfies equation number one. What is happening in this bound? There is no improvement in the cost when there is a unilateral change in the strategy that the players are playing. In other words, if player P1 changes its action without the player P2 leaving the optimal action, the cost won't be any better than the one by the settled point equilibrium. Remember that a solution to the hybrid game is given in terms of the strategies, but a solution to the hybrid system is given in terms of hybrid arcs. Let us define the cost associated to the solution as J, including three terms, the cost to flow, cost to jump, and terminal cost. The cost to flow is penalizing the evolution of every interval of flow, and all of them are added up. The cost to jump penalizes each jump, adding all of them up, and the terminal cost penalizes the final value of the state when either T or J tend to infinity as we are focused on complete solutions. The problem we want to solve is the mean matrix problem, problem in which um, we optimize the cost functional J over the set of input actions that yield complete solutions to the hybrid system. The optimizer um, is known as a mean max control. And when the players play the optimizer, or the settled point equilibrium, the cost that is obtained at every initial condition is denoted as the value function. Our main result uh, is presented in this theorem in which uh, we say that if there exists a function B smooth enough, satisfying the hamilton jacobi isaacs hybrid equations um, that are basically um, this first equation and the second equation. In the first one, we are stating a relationship between the stage cost LC and the change of B along the continuous evolution. And we say that the mean max of this relationship is enforced to be equal to zero. This mean max will be equal to the max mean, denoting that there is no advantage in playing first. This equation will be enforced. It's an infinitesimal equation enforced at every point of the flow set. 
Likewise, we have the equivalent equation in a relation between the stage cost for jumps and the change of P over jumps at every point of the jump set. If in addition to these equations, the boundary conditions relating B and the terminal cost Q is satisfied, then we can say that B is the value function of the system. In addition, any stationary feedback load kappa with values kappa C and kappa D that are the optimizers of the min-max problem is said to be a pure strategy saddle point equilibrium for the two-player game that we just presented. We present equivalent conditions to the ones uh, of the hybrid um, hamilton jacobi isaacs equations in terms of equalities and inequalities. So in a specific, what we do is that we say that the stage cost will be equal to minus the change of B along flows for every point in the flow set when both of the players are playing optimally. When only the second player plays optimally, this relation becomes non-negative. And when only the first player plays optimally, this relation becomes non-positive. We have an equivalent for every point in the, in the jump set in which um, we relate the stage cost for jumps with the change of B along jumps um, when both players play optimally or a single one plays optimally. This allows us to present this uh, next result that connects um, optimality and stability in which we consider a closed set calligraph A and V being smooth enough, satisfying the Hamilton, Jacobi, Bell, uh, Isaacs hybrid equations and the boundary condition. If there exist two kappa alpha, K alpha functions, alpha one and alpha two, K infinity, in which alpha one and alpha two are bounding V at every point of, this, of the steady space, and there exists continuous positive definite functions row one and row two that, that bound the change of B along the continuous evolution and the change of B along the discrete evolution respectively, then we say that B is not only the value function of the system, but is also the Lyapunov function allowing kappa to render the set calligraph A uniformly, globally, asymptotically stable for the closed loop system. Let us consider an application of um, this type of games in which we study a juggling system in which x1 is the height of a ball, x2 is the velocity of the ball, and ud is the control action while UD, ud2 is the worst case attack that is able to insert velocity to the ball after each impact. The behavior of this type of systems is hybrid it has both continuous and discrete behaviors. And we are interested in the case in which player P1 wants to minimize a cost functional J that is only given in terms of the stage cost um, for jumps LD and the terminal cost Q under the worst case scenario attack of player P2. We propose a function B that is given with the same structure of function Q, and we study each of the conditions of our main theorem. It satisfies effectively the hamilton jacobi isaacs hybrid equations, and using this theorem, this uh, implies that the value function at any point in the steady space will be given by, by the function B, and it is attained by the feedback loads kappa D1 and kappa D2 as in the bottom of this slide. For the case in which we're interested in analyzing the origin, given that the, the stage cost LD is positive definite in composition with kappa D with respect to the origin, and the hamilton jacobi isaacs hybrid equations hold, for the functions alpha 1 and alpha 2, we can use our corollary to show that kappa D is the saddle point equilibrium and renders the origin uniformly, globally, asymptotically stable for the hybrid system. The min max behavior in the cost is depicted in the picture, in the picture in which we are varying the feedback low along the saddle point equilibrium to display this saddle point behavior. In conclusion, we presented a general framework for hybrid games with a result that allows us to 
attain this alpine equilibrium without competing solutions. We have another result that connects optimality and asymptotic stability concepts with the application to security scenarios. An application to robust scenarios can be found in the paper. Thank you for your attention.